Hi, and welcome to the installation guide for 3D Equalizer 4. This video is designed for users who have release 8 or higher. However, if you're looking to install an older version of 3D Equalizer 4, you'll still find this tutorial helpful, although some details might differ slightly. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through two key parts. First, the installation and licensing of 3D E4 on a single workstation, and second, setting up a licensed server machine for multiple licenses. Let's start with part one, installing and licensing 3D E4 on a single workstation. After purchasing a subscription, your first step is to download 3D E4. Head over to 3dequalizer.com and navigate to the download area. Look for 3D Equalizer 4 Release 8.0 System Software. Remember, you'll need to be logged in to download the software. Click on Login and enter your 3DE ID and password. Once logged in, go back to the download area. Click on the 3D Equalizer 4 Release 8 System Software link. You'll then choose your operating system, Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. Accept the software license agreement and your download will begin. After downloading, simply extract the contents of the archive to your preferred location. This can be accomplished by double-clicking on the archive file for Linux and Mac OS users. For Windows, it's important to note that tar.gz's archives are not natively supported. A specialized tool, such as 7-zip, will be required for extraction. Alternatively, the archive can also be extracted using the shell on all three operating systems. To extract using the shell, open it up and enter tar.xzf followed by the path to the downloaded archive. After a short while, you'll see the contents extracted to the current folder. To run 3DE4, double-click on the extracted folder, and within that, double-click on the bin folder. For Linux and Mac OS, double-click on the Run 3DE4 Startup script. Windows users, just double-click on the 3DE4 executable. After some time, the 3DE's License Manager window will pop up. 3D4 can also be started through command line. Let's try that out. Click exit to quit 3DE. Open up a shell and simply enter the path to the 3DE4 startup script or executable depending on your operating system. Upon doing this, 3DE4 will start up again and the license manager window will reappear. Input your 3D EID in the 3D EID text field and press Enter. A window will ask for your password. After entering it, a notification confirms that you've successfully logged in. But you might notice there's no license yet. Open up the website again, and in your personal account, click on Purchases and Licenses. Here, you'll find your purchases and licenses. If there's a subscription purchase but no license, head back to the 3DE's License Manager window. To receive a license, you need to request one. Click on the Send License Request button. A new window pops up. Select your purchase, add an optional comment, and click Send License Request. A confirmation will indicate that your request was sent to the 3dequalizer.com license cloud server. Creating a new license usually takes just a few minutes. Revisit the website, and you should now see a new license listed.
head back to 3DE's License Manager window. However, your license might still not display. 3D4 automatically syncs its license data every 24 hours. To expedite this, click on Fetch Licenses. Your new license should now be displayed. To start using 3D Equalizer 4, click on Use License. Finally, the main window of 3DE will open, indicating that you're all set to use the software. In part two, we're diving into the depths of 3DE's licensing system. We'll guide you through setting up a license server, ensuring you have all the knowledge needed for a smooth operation. Let's rewind briefly to part one, where we discussed hosting a license on the same machine as 3DE4. Remember how when 3DE4 starts, it searches for a valid license server? Well, if it doesn't find one, 3D4 automatically launches its license server software, known as FLCD4. It's crucial to understand that 3DE4 and FLCD4 are two distinct programs. FLCD4 is where your licenses live. When you launch 3DE, it reaches out to FLCD4, aiming to secure a free license for your session. A key point to note, FLCD4 keeps in touch with our license cloud servers over the internet to stay updated. This means in this setup, your workstation needs an active internet connection. Now, let's shift gears and talk about setting up a license server for multiple workstations. Imagine you have three workstations, A, B, and C, and a dedicated license server machine. The goal is to run a separate instance of 3DE4 on each workstation with a single instance of FLCD4 running on the license server. Each 3DE instance communicates with FLCD4 to secure its license. This communication happens through port 57423, so make sure your firewall isn't blocking this. And remember, just like in the single workstation scenario, FLCD4 needs to sync with our cloud servers, so the license server must be online. The good news? Your individual workstations don't need internet access in this scenario. After delving into the theory, it's time for some hands-on practice. As we learned in part one, Let's start 3DE4 through the shell. If you have a license, like in this demonstration, the main window of 3DE will pop up promptly. To access the License Manager window, go to Options, then select Manage Licenses. And there you have it. The License Manager window is now on your screen. Notice that a license gets locked by this instance of 3DE since we started it the regular way. But if you're an admin and want to access the license manager without using up a license, there's a special way to do it. Let's exit 3DE4 to free up the license. Now, restart 3DE4, but this time use the command line option, manage licenses. Voila. The License Manager window opens directly without locking a license. Let's dive deeper into the License Manager. This window acts as a remote control for FLCD4, 3DE's license server software. The License Server text field shows the host name where FLCD4 is running. In our case, it's on Chucky, the local machine. The FLCD4 field displays the software version. System ID gives a unique identifier for the server hardware and 3DE ID shows the 3DEqualizer.com user account currently linked to this FLCD4 instance. The list below shows all valid licenses. But what if we want to connect to a different FLCD4 on another machine? Let's try with a machine named Rocket. After entering Rocket in the license server field, we hit an error. FLCD4 doesn't seem to be running on Rocket. So let's fix that. First, we'll open another shell to remote login to Rocket. We are now logged in to Rocket. The archive for 3D4 release 8.0 has already been downloaded. Let's extract the contents of the archive to the current folder as demonstrated in part one. 
To configure Rocket as a licensed server machine, all we need to do is to start 3D's licensed server software, FLCD4. FLCD4 is located in the bin folder. For more detailed diagnostic output, we add the command line option, verbose. As FLCD4 starts up on Rocket, you'll see it outputs various information, confirming that it's now up and running. Let's return to our local machine's license manager window. Here, we'll try connecting to the FLCD4 we just activated on Rocket. Simply hit the rescan button. Notice there's no error this time. We've successfully connected to FLCD4 on Rocket. The shell on Rocket also displays additional output from FLCD4. You'll also notice differences in system ID and 3D EID between FLCD4 on Rocket and Chucky. System ID differs because Rocket and Chucky are two distinct hardware machines. And 3D EID differs as each instance of FLCD4 is configured with a different 3D equalizer.com user account. The last step is to configure a proper 3D EID. For this demonstration, we've set up an imaginary account. Please enter your specific 3D equalizer.com account and password here. With this, the FLCD4 instance on Rocket is now configured with the new 3DE account, and this configuration will be saved within the 3DE installation directory on Rocket. It appears we've downloaded two licenses from the 3DE license cloud server. Let's verify that. Open your web browser and navigate to the purchases and licenses section of your 3DE user account. You'll see three licenses listed instead of two, why is that? Let's turn off Show Valid Licenses Only. Now all three licenses appear in the License Manager window. One license seems invalid, likely due to a system ID mismatch for Rocket. To resolve this, a license transfer is needed. If you encounter such a situation, please get in touch with your personal contact at ScienceDVisions or email info at scidevs.com we will help you through the process. Now that we have our license server set up, it's time to understand how new workstations can seamlessly connect to it. Typically, 3D4 remembers the last license server used. For instance, if Chucky was the license server in the last session, 3D4 will default to it when restarted. But, what if we need to change this behavior? This is where the environment variable license server 3 de 4 comes into play. By setting this to our desired server, say Rocket, we override the default behavior. Now, when 3 de 4 starts, it'll automatically connect to Rocket, regardless of the previous setting. Let's test this. We'll change the host name back to Chucky but you'll notice upon restarting 3 d 4 Rocket remains as the default license server. Finally, let's delve into how to obtain the current status of FLCD4 via the command line, a necessity for those integrating this data into an intranet infrastructure. Let's have a look on the tool FLC Info 4. Found in the bin directory of 3DE, FLC Info 4 provides valuable information. Run it without options, and it fetches data from the local FLCD4, like the number of valid licenses, licenses in use, and detailed license listings, including expiration dates and compatibility. To query a remote server like Rocket, just add license underscore server, followed by the hostname. Let's give it a try. And with that, we conclude our installation tutorial for 3D Equalizer 4 Release 8. From installing 3DE to setting up a single license or a license server for multiple licenses, we've covered it all. I hope you found this series informative and helpful. Thank you for joining me. Take care and goodbye.